Virginia could be the next state to legalize a form of medical marijuana. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg introduces us to one woman who says it could make a big difference in her child's life. When Beth Collins first took her cause to Richmond in January, she was met with a chill. When a lot of legislators heard the word marijuana, they were like, mm, no, no thanks. But as Collins started sharing stories of her 15-year-old daughter, Jennifer, who has epilepsy and suffers up to 300 small seizures a day, she explained the therapeutic power of marijuana oils, which have nothing to do with getting high. We're asking for medicine. A year ago, Beth and Jennifer left their family in Fairfax and moved to Colorado, where marijuana, along with the oils, is legal. Drops under her tongue three times a day dramatically reduced Jennifer's seizures and no side effects like with other drugs. But they wanted to come home to Virginia and join other families in the fight. I never underestimate the determination of, of parents who are protecting their kids. On Tuesday, the House of Delegates voted 98 to 0, making it easy easier for Virginians with epilepsy to use marijuana oils. A similar bill has passed the Senate and Governor Terry McAuliffe is a supporter. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a, a cure-all for epilepsy syndromes, but for the right patient with the right syndrome, I think it's going to be very meaningful. For all of us, it provides hope. If we can save one life, that's worth it to me. While things may be moving forward with marijuana oils in Richmond, that's probably all for the moment. The Republican-led legislature has shown no interest in pursuing medical marijuana and certainly not marijuana for recreational use. In Arlington, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.